Hi, it's me, Bazooka. Obviously you want this icon, but you just can't make a good enough level to get a hundred likes. That's a lot of likes. How do you get this icon? You want this icon. Hang on, let me just grab my like five stars or something. Oh, never mind. So as you can see, I have this icon, yet I have not made a single good level that's worthy of 100 likes. Well, I have one, two, three, four levels with over 100 likes from using this method. And all you have to do is make an auto level. But you have to be the first to do it. You can't just make some auto level of, you know, bloodbath. I mean, there are, let's see how many bloodbath autos there are. Okay, there are about 10,000 or more bloodbath autos. So if you make a bloodbath auto, chances are you're not going to get any likes. But let's go to the more recent extreme demons, like Pooh Cubed. Okay, well, this is new. It's popular. It has to be a popular extreme demon, because if it's just some random one that you haven't heard about, like Launchpad Lambreth Arc, I mean, nobody really cares about that. It has to be a popular one. Now, I've heard of this level, so... So that means that a lot of people are probably going to be looking up this level and maybe they want an auto version because they want to see it. Maybe it's more convenient than looking at a YouTube video of it or it's higher quality or maybe you don't have I, internet. I don't know. Poo cubed auto. There are no poo cubed autos right now. So this level would actually be a pretty good level to do, I think, because it's decently popular. Now you could do limbo, but that would take you about a week because it has about a million objects. So let's do poo cubed. I think it probably has less. So auto, boom. So here's what I did for my auto levels. Now I'm not here to tell you how to make an auto level. Okay, you probably can figure that out yourself. So what I did was I tried to make the jumps as realistic as possible instead of like, like I could put blue pad here and a blue pad here. That's a bit of a stretch. Nobody probably does that, but don't do stuff like that. Like right here, don't put a bunch of blocks here. Nobody's going to accept that. And don't just spam a bunch of blue pads and then there you go, because that's not realistic. So what I did was I actually placed blue pads where I think might be more realistic instead of placing just a bunch of random ones that you're probably not even going to hit. Instead of just doing this and making you just fly through there flat, that's not very realistic, right? So what I did was I took a bunch of ramps and I tried to make it as realistic as possible. And I think this works pretty well. And obviously I had to do some tweaking over here to make it perfect. And for wave sections, I did D blocks instead of like blue pads or something. The blue pads might look more realistic. And just to clarify myself a little bit, you don't need to make it really realistic or perfect to make an auto level that might get 100 likes. You just can't make it trash and be really lazy. You have to actually put in some work, but you don't have to make it perfect or really realistic. But I've found that this is more consistent for my next point. The thing that stands out most about the autos that I've made is that it is compatible with like all hertz. So 60, 144, 100, you know, 240, 360. And even 480, I've even tested this one on 480. Blue pads, depending on what hertz you're on, it might send you in a different location, so that might mess up here. So if you move that a little bit, well, it might work for a 60 hertz, but it might change it for 144 hertz. So here, you're just going along the same thing. There's no way that that would change. But I really do recommend you test it on all the different refresh rates because that can annoy people and deter people a lot more than it being perfect. Nobody really cares about that. I don't think that's just me. You make your auto levels however you want to but make sure that you make it work on all refresh rates because I think that's the most important part of this. So I've done multiple tests on all the autos that I've made to make sure that it works on all hertz that people are going to be playing on. I still get some comments saying that there's a bug, but I think that's probably just because they're on mobile. And some mobile devices have like different physics. It's really weird. And there's not really anything you can do about that. And that's not going to be most people. For most people, it's going to work. And then another thing that I like to do is watermark my autos. I have Bazooka down here. Pretty subtle. Okay. Now I do this because people will steal autos. Let's see here. Oh, see. And this one doesn't work on 360. That's why it only has 24 likes. Because first of all, they weren't the first person to make an Acheron auto. And second of all, it's bad. Let's look at the ship. The way the ship's made. Yeah, that's that's mine. This is my level. So this person has just copied my level and posted it. Um, which is stupid because they're not going to get 100 likes because I posted it first. And so everybody's going to play my one because they're not going to skip it. What's funny here is you'll see the Bazooka watermark at the end. Oh, they deleted it. So I guess that watermark was kind of obvious, so people are just stealing it now. Congregation Auto, my first auto level, and the level that got me this icon right here. So I know that people have stolen this level, my auto. So let's look at this one, this is probably stolen. This is, yeah, this is mine, okay. So let's just go through it here. You should try to kind of sneakily hide your name somewhere so that they don't find it easily and delete it. Like if you put Bazooka right at the front, then they're just gonna delete that. But if you put it like this right here, the 
pops up auto by bazooka even though it's clearly by angelo 761 um i don't know how they skipped this thing I think these people copied me too. Yep, they copied. That's me. I know because of the way I've put the pads and everywhere. So, how to get this icon? Step one, wait for a popular extreme demon to come out. Step two, make an auto level of it and test it on all the refresh rates so that it works for everybody, so that everybody likes it. Because if I play an auto level and then I just die immediately, I'm gonna like dislike it and move on. So make sure your auto works for everybody so that everybody can like it. There are a lot of people on different refresh rates. So all the people on 60 Hertz playing Acheron Auto might like that, but all the people on 144 Hertz, because you failed at making your auto level, they might just skip your level and play somebody else's without liking yours so you wouldn't get this icon as easily. So that's how you do it. Try I, I was gonna do Sonic Wave Infinity, but somebody got to that before I did and I didn't really need it anymore. And by the way, this happened to me a few times. Make sure to save a lot because, especially if you're doing a large level, because if you don't save, it'll all just be deleted and you'll just feel like stopping, which is what happened here. But I actually ended up redoing it and fixing it. A few people say bug, but most people say no bugs and it's fine. And I've tested it on 60, 144, 240, and 360. So I know that it works on all those refresh rates, at least on computer. So that's how you do it. Good luck. Goodbye.